Hey, what's up? It's Tigo here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install RAM in the mid-2012 MacBook Pros. Now, this method, has, method sorry, has kind of been the same throughout uh, the 2011 models, uh, obviously the 2012 models, and will probably remain the same throughout 2013. So, I'm going to show you guys how to install some RAM in these MacBook Pros. And before you start, we do need a few things. Obviously, you'll need a screwdriver, kind of a basic uh, cruciform screwdriver. You can get it at any DIY shop. Uh, for really cheap and then obviously you will need uh, your RAM modules uh, themselves now your RAM modules I highly recommend you buy them online simply because you will save a lot of money do not buy them from Apple because uh, they easily double or triple the price of their RAM modules so I don't recommend you buy it uh, at uh, at the Apple store because they will kind of rip you off but uh, to buy them online I recommend two websites uh, one if you live in the United States or Canada I recommend OWC I will leave a link to their website in the description. And you can go ahead and uh, you know buy RAM modules for any MacBook Pros you uh, MacBook Pro you might have. It's all available there, and I do think they offer free shipping uh, throughout the United States. So uh, you might want to check that out if you live in the United States or Canada uh, or probably any other country in North or South uh, America. I think they also ship to uh, other countries. So if you do live in the UK or uh, Europe. You might want to check out crucial.com. That's where I personally bought my own modules. They have a great website. You just select which model of Mac you have. They literally have every uh, single RAM modules out there uh, that you might need. So they have a huge choice and you simply put on which model you have and it will tell you exactly what RAM to buy. Uh, so for this exact MacBook Pro, I will also leave a specific link in the description where you can buy it. But I highly recommend you just check out their website. They also offer free shipping throughout Europe and they're really fast and it's good quality stuff. So uh, definitely they have uh, good stuff at a very uh, affordable price. So that's it for where to buy uh, your RAM models. And now let's go on with the tutorial. So obviously to start off, you'll need to flip around your MacBook Pro and start unscrewing all the little uh, screws in the back panel here. Now, one thing you want to make sure is that you remember which screws goes where because you'll probably notice quite quickly that not all the screws are the same size. So you do want to remember which ones goes where. Um, and as you can see, I put each screw uh, next to the hole uh, I screwed them out from to make sure I remembered uh, which ones went where. And as you can see, there's two different types of screws. So do make sure you remember uh, where they came from so it's easier to... Uh, screw the back panel back on uh, afterwards uh, then you can go ahead and uh, try and get the back panel off here now it is pretty tough it's pretty resistant and you have to put some force into it but eventually it does come off I highly recommend you do it from the back uh, of your MacBook Pro it's much easier to grab and you'll notice the RAM modules uh, right there in the center uh, of your MacBook Pro uh, it's pretty obvious and uh, here's a little close-up for you guys. Now, the way you take them off, there's two little latches there at the side. You kind of pull them apart, and then it just pops out like that. So it's really, really simple. Uh, and they made it quite easy for you to uh, pull out. So uh, do keep in mind, as you can see, that the small part of the connectors are the right side. So do keep in mind that when you put your new RAM in, uh, that is the same. And I went ahead and took the second module out. So you always probably have two modules by default installed in there. And as you can see, I had to pull the latches twice there to get it out properly. So uh, do make sure you don't break anything and take your time and go ahead and take your new RAM. So this is my new RAM. And uh, the way you put it in, it's pretty simple. It's just pretty much the, the same way you pull them out, just the reverse. Uh, go ahead and push them into the connectors uh, and then push down on the module. So you didn't see it quite well there, but I'm going to do it again on the second module where you can see it properly, uh, but you just put it in the connectors, push it in, make sure it's in properly, and then go ahead and push down on uh, the module so it's it actually goes inside your MacBook Pro and it's kind of you know parallel to uh, your MacBook Pro. So that's pretty much it. There you go, you've got your RAM installed. And that's all you need to do. It shouldn't have taken you more than 10 to 15 minutes probably. So that's pretty much it for my tutorial. If you do want to check if your RAM is properly installed, both of the modules, because sometimes maybe one of the two modules uh, might not be in properly, go ahead and launch up your MacBook Pro. And once you're all logged in and on your desktop, go ahead and go to the top left of your screen, click on the little Apple and click on uh, the About This Mac. And a little window will pop up 
uh, it will tell you you know the processor and as well uh, as you can see right there uh, your memory so in my case I've installed 16 gigs of uh, RAM and uh, I've installed everything properly since it displays it uh, right there so uh, that's pretty much how you can check if you've installed your RAM properly uh, that's it for my tutorial thank you all for watching if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below be sure to like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter and circle me on Google Plus once again I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later peace